one large ice caramel macchiato and then one large coke with no ice and then one sausage biscuit okay friends hello welcome to the mcdonald's drive through it is tuesday june 1st yes june 1st it is the last tuesday of the school year we have today we have tomorrow we have thursday and we have a half day on friday so basically today and wednesday are semi-ish normal days thursday we do like our school-wide celebration so that's just like rotating stations all day long and then friday is a half day so mostly just like yearbooks meeting next year's teacher it's basically one class per grade so people pretty much know a teacher so for me i still don't know exactly what the jenna teachers plans are but if my students come to me during like my usual scheduled times with them today we're gonna do chalk paint so basically you add chalk to water. A lot of people have other recipes that have like cornstarch and food color dye, but I don't want to mess with that. So we're just gonna pound some chalk with some hammers, put it with some water, make some paint out of it, have some fun. I have um, these little stencil things I showed the other day, they're sidewalk decals. So we have like marble ones and frozen ones. So basically you just like wet them a little bit and then it puts that imprint on the sidewalk. So I think that'll be super fun for the kids to paint with and not have to like rely on their imaginations because some of my kids are very imaginative and others would rather have that canvas telling them what to do. And then I'm gonna set up our magic E station. So basically you make a little wand with an E on it and a star, you stick it on a stick and then you go around to various cards. So there'll be like one that's KIT kit and then you put up your magic E and then it makes it kite. So I have a lot of cards for that just in case we get to it. Um, I always like to over plan compared to under planning and even though it is I'm working on CVC and then CVC E words it's kind of still a fun activity and the kids don't really know that they're actually working. So this is a different sidewalk. I did this one with first grade and myself. I did the hearts, but these are my first grade ones up here. Basically we just put the chalk in a bag like this and we just hammer it up to a powder. And stick it in water, use about three scoops and bam, paint. Okay, so done with my chalk stuff outside, picked it all up, came inside, now I have my virtual kids. Tomorrow's our last day, so it's pretty chill with them too. For lunch, we have a very good assortment. The end of the year is always the best because there's just such random stuff you can choose from. So I got two corn dogs, potatoes, and then we've got fruit snacks and oranges, which I'll probably eat later. So we'll just focus on the corn dogs and the little potato guys. <laughs> So you might be thinking, Monica, what are you doing at Walmart on a school night, working? They beg, they beg, they beg, and here I am, the night before report cards are due. Tomorrow, after school, it might still aren't done. Of course, when I'm working, I stumble upon things as I'm putting them out that I have to have. So these running shorts with leopard print, so cute, $10, and then they have the matching bra for also $10. So cute. And then I put these tie-dye sets out and they are so soft, like buttery soft. So there's like a black, a yellow orange tie-dye, this patriotic color, and then there's like a blue white, so. I'm gonna get this one and be a little festive around the 4th of July. 
ten dollars for a tank top and shorts. No idea what I'm wearing tomorrow right now. And I put this shirt out maybe an hour ago. Be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm a rainbow and I need this shirt and it's only five dollars. Also, there's some very cute swimsuits that I really like. I love this tie-dye pattern. Love the colors, but don't really like that it's ribbed. It feels really weird. These two pieces are so cute. Sometimes it looks cuter on the hanger than when it's on. These are cute, but I feel like this looks really good when you're tan, but not when you're not tan. And then this is cute, but I don't know about the sleeves. And then I put these out. I love the colors. I'm not really a fan of like the tube top style, but like, oh, so cute. But I don't need any more swimsuits, so I need to just walk away, walk away. Unless they go on clearance, then that's okay. But really, what we need is shaving cream for our fun little ice adventures tomorrow. So, two cans of shaving cream is basically all we need, and we're leaving with five articles of clothing instead. Such is my life. That's pretty much how many hours did I work tonight? Basically worked five hours, make like 12-ish an hour or so. $60 paying for my clothing that I'm buying. So Walmarts are supposed to have kind of like a Target-esque dollar spot, but our store isn't made for it right now. We're missing the fixture for it. So all of our dollar-ish stuff is on end caps or sidekicks, and when they run out of it, they just make it really cheap clearance. So um, yeah, look what I just found. The holy grail of teacher erasers. I don't even know what I'm going to do with so many, but for a quarter, I feel like I need like four bags. Now that we have all this stuff we don't need, we can finally go. $37, not bad. I think I saved like $5 with my discount, something like that. And now I'm waiting for my art teacher friend to text me back because I'm pretty sure she wants the rainbow shirt too. So now I'm like awkwardly loitering. But then we can go to Culver's. Very excited very hungry. Don't know what the flavor of the day is, but I'm hoping it's something good. Very, very tragic, my friends. The flavor of the day is butter pecan, one of the few that I'm not a fan of. So we won't be getting ice cream, which means I think we'll get two like foodish items, even though I'm not really that hungry. And generally when I eat this late at night, I stay up a lot longer versus like I could drink a cup of coffee and then go to bed and be fine. But like when I eat before I go to bed, for some reason that just like gets me energized and keeps me awake, but that's okay. We have ice bins to create. I don't think that involves a lot of anything. All right, if you can go right ahead to the window, we'll get this right over here. Thank you. Thank you. Pretzel bites are the best thing in existence, and if you have a Culver's near you, one, you need to try their pretzel bites, and two, the strawberry mango cooler is my absolute favorite drink in the whole wide world to get in the summer from here, so also try that. Like actual chunks of strawberry and mango blended together. Delicious! Here we have Mr. Chicken, always good, and pretzel bites, perfect. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's time to go to bed, but let's go add some water and some pennies to our little ice trays in the freezer. Well, the last layer I did was blue. This layer, I'm gonna add cornstarch so it gets cloudy so the kids don't know that there's pennies in it until they find the pennies. I'm gonna use green food coloring, so hopefully the cornstarch will make it darker, cloudier. I'm not a professional, I've never actually done this before, but. What is your problem? So I just did it really quickly because I need to go to bed, but my hands are a little bit green. I'll show you guys in the morning. I'll probably just load them up in one of my parents' really large coolers that they used to like take stuff to the camper and stuff like that. And I'm hoping I'll make it to school without having a giant mess. Hopefully. I really haven't thought this through. <laughs>